since the election, mortgage rates have been on the rise. And after the Federal Reserve raised interest rates a few weeks ago, there was no reason to believe that anything would change in that regard. Well, now, according to mortgage buyer Freddie Mac, a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage has ticked up to 4.32 percent. That is the highest level we've seen since April of 2014. And considering that the average for all of 2016 for the 30-year was 3.66 percent, that was the lowest since Freddie Mac began keeping records 45 years ago. That's quite a spike in just two short months. So if you're thinking of buying and you're nervous about high rates, Diana Olick tells us tonight that there is a way to get a lower number. Mortgage rates took a big jump after the presidential election and just kept on going. So if you were in the market to buy a home last summer, but you just couldn't pull the trigger, well, it's going to cost you more now on the monthly payment for the same priced home. Already, we've seen the hit from rising rates. Pending home sales dropped in November to the lowest level in almost a year and were lower than November of 2015. Pending sales measure contracts signed, not closings, so people out shopping in November, factoring in those higher rates. The average rate on the 30-year fixed is now well over 4%, and while it has been moving in a narrow range the last few weeks, the expectation is that it will move higher next year as the economy strengthens. Add even faster rising home prices to the mix and you have something of a toxic cocktail for housing in 2017. But there is an antidote. You can buy down your mortgage rate. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Yes, you have to have more cash up front, but lenders will lower the rate if you pay a percentage of the loan in fees up front. It's called points. One point is 1% 1 of your loan amount. If you were getting a 30-year fixed loan of $300,000, you might get a rate of four and a quarter percent. But if you pay one point or $3,000, you might get a rate of 4%. Lowering your rate by a quarter point lowers your payment by $44 a month and lowers your interest cost by about $62 a month. Important though, this is only a savings if you stay in your house for at least seven years. That way you're saving more than you paid up front. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.